my protein shake. Plant based, no dairy. Straight up. So I've been drinking my protein drinks quite often. The first is coming up the first of July, so I'm gonna switch over to juices. So this will be my last few days with the protein drinks. My protein drinks be having sea moss in them, bladder rack, plant-based protein powder, peanut butter, black maca root powder, and black strap molasses. And I use different types of milks. Mostly I use Ripple, which is made from peas. I've been going hard on the workouts. So starting July, I'm doing abs, midsection real hard. A lot of calisthenics, a lot of sweating before I go back to the really pushing the rest of the muscle, upper body and lower body. I'll be working on abs heavy sweating, jumping rope, that type of shit. So for the whole July, I'm going to just be doing fruit, fruit juices, fruit. I won't be doing no breads or nothing like that. I'll be doing mostly raw fruit and juices and teas all next month, which will help me lots of citrus fruit while I'm working on my abs. That's going to be interesting. So I got to get my share of everything else before the first con. I'll be mostly raw. Fourth of July is coming up. So if you don't know, you need a lesson in Chicago how to survive the Fourth of July, you know? For younger people, older people, you'll probably most likely be safe depending on where you go in the city. But when you uh, go into uh, these events in Chicago where younger, you know, younger black males are at, good luck. So. They're about to cook a whole lot of meat, right? And, it, and and eating all this meat, like here in the city of Chicago, they're going to cook a whole lot of meat. So every time a big holiday like this comes, it pushes a lot of black people closer to death, stroke, congestive heart failure, diabetes. So it'd be this is another step towards massive diabetes, <clears throat> cardiovascular disease, stroke, all types of heart disease, right? diabetes, you know what I mean? So every time these holidays come, it really debilitates the health of our people, you know? because they overdo it, you know? And typically, you know, they don't eat balanced. Meat prevents you from eating a lot of stuff. And so that's why that's one reason meat is so bad. Because meat, when I used to eat meat, it's just so many things I just did not eat. <clears throat> My, the way I used to eat was so limited when I was a meat eater, it's unbelievable how much you don't eat, right? Most people would think that giving up meat, you really is eating less, but actually you're going to be eating more because typically you don't eat that much, right? And I was a kid, I grew up and I peeped game, you know, early. That they was running a game on me, they had me thinking I was eating a lot of stuff, right? Because they named it different shit, you know? 
So they had me fooled. I thought I was really eating something different, you know. I thought I was eating something different. I, you know, and I go uh, to uh, churches and get some chicken. I thought that was different than a chicken sandwich or chicken this or chicken Alfredo, you know. The whole time it's just chicken though, right? And so I started getting hip. Oh, damn, every day I'm just eating chicken, beef. <laughs> it's crazy, pork, chicken, beef. Every now and then some seafood, right? <clears throat> So I remember as a young mediator, before I knew anything about eating right, I remember being bored. Like, oh, what am I going to eat, man? I just had a hamburger. You know, you just had everything, right? But it's the same animals over and over, name different shit. You know, it's beef stroganoff, you know. Then they chop it up so it got different names. So you're eating a hamburger. You're eating something different tomorrow. You're eating a steak, right? <laughs> So, you you know, it gives you the illusion when you're ordering all this stuff that you're eating a variety of food. But you're eating the same food prepared in different ways and off of different parts of the same animals, right? And so, you know, you could kill yourself easy, you know what I mean? When I was regular, I could have kill myself easily because I didn't have a concept, you know? So you get up in the morning. Hey, Empress uh, Adira, you get up in the morning, you might have some bacon and eggs. And if you're not careful at lunch, if it's available, you might have a ham sandwich. And if you really don't watch it later on in the evening, you might have some pork chops. Especially when you're young and you, you ain't really paying attention to that shit, pork. It ain't pork, it's pork chops. It ain't pork, it's a ham salad. This is when you're young. Fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. Even in high school, it don't really click in sometimes that you're eating the same animal because you're calling this something different. So all the time you're eating something, you think you're eating something different, but you're eating the same shit, right? It's making you sick. It's killing you. Go see the documentary. They're trying to kill us. It's going to be good. It's going to break all of that down. So it's miserable for me when I see stuff like 4th of July coming up, when I know that black people's health is going to just be deteriorating at an all-time high. Uh, it's amazing how black people, uh, especially, I guess, woke or conscious or whatever you call it, this new shit. It's amazing how many of those people that's aware don't eat right. I know it's just a mind blower. It's like being in a fucking, I mean, you, I mean, originally, if you wasn't, trying to go vegetarian and vegan, you wasn't considered with no type of, any type of consciousness whatsoever. I don't know how to, I guess they had to, they had to change it to woke. I guess woke me. you know, if you woke, you could still be eating fucking Nabisco's and motherfucking, if you woke, I guess you could still be, you could still be eating at Denny's and talking black shit, I guess that's what that is. You could be at Denny's eating garbage. You could be eating garbage on holidays and say, yeah, black people got to do something, right? While you commit suicide, you know? It's like, black people got to have some strength. But man, I can't get off meat. <laughs> but I could break away from this white man, but I can't get off meat. Uh, that seems to be a contradiction. And me, at the end of the day, you either weak or you're not. Let's call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? So the holiday coming up, and it ain't nothing like it's this versus that. A lot of people make that. It's not this versus that. It's real health. Don't let nobody fool you. It's real health. Stuffing that shit in your colon going to kill your ass, okay? Stuffing dead flesh into your colon will make you sick. You might survive, but you're going to have all type of shit because stuffing dead flesh in your colon also going to make you Eat all that ugly shit. You know what I'm saying? This real nigga shit, this ain't no bullshit nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, in Africa, you know, they call me the realest inward of life. You know, I'm the realest inward of life. So this real nigga shit. This ain't no, don't try to call me no conscious nigga, motherfucker. I was born in Chicago, 1958, nigga, pork chops, 
to hold that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I remember when the Big Mac came out. So hold up, Charlie. You know, I ate the first Big Mac, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? When the, Big, when the Big Mac came out, I ate it first, nigga. So I know it ain't shit. How you gonna tell me that that shit good? That shit straight garbage. I've been eating it longer than you. Well, not longer than you before you. I stopped eating that shit in 1979. I was 21. I was like, they trying to kill us. I'm like, they trying to kill a nigga. I figured it out. I can't be eating this shit. This they trying to fuck me up. I was right. You know, 79, I stopped eating meat. Everybody looking at me. Uh, 89, uh, 99, wow. 2009, damn. If they alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now... Burger King is telling you, everybody's telling you, oh yeah, plant-based is legit. <laughs> oh, okay, master, master say, uh, you know. And so now the 4th of July coming up, boom, these black people are gonna kill grandma, kill the aunt, kill the uncle, aunt getting drunk, don't need to be drinking, he's 70, he drinking, he got a bottle next to him drinking, everybody drinking too much, eating a whole bunch of garbage, not the really the right amount of fruits and vegetables and shit. Certain people come to the family that's diabetic. All your relatives that's way overweight sitting up at the table. Keep putting a little bit on the plate, a little bit on the plate, a little bit on the plate, a little bit on the plate. You know how you, you know how your relatives overweight do. You know that auntie that's overweight. She keeps sashaying back and forth real slowly. She don't want to pile all that shit up there because she already overweight. She knows she ain't healthy. So what she do, get a little bit, get a little bit, get a little bit, get a little bit, keep smiling. Yeah, yeah, girl, yeah, girl. You know what I'm saying? Why she eat a whole bunch of shit, right? That ain't good for her. That's your auntie. So now you live in a Babylon system where you want to down auntie because she fat, because you want to say she fat based on how she look. You don't want to help auntie because she over be obese. And she, un she not healthy. So they try to throw the fat shaming in there to block the fact that if you're overweight like that, you ain't healthy. Right? So you so so I got, if my mother's overweight, how you gonna tell me I love my mother when I allow my mother to be overweight and create medical conditions for her that I'm gonna have to watch her suffer with? You know goddamn well it's coming. You know what I'm People talking about, man, some people live to 100. Not that big fat motherfucker in your family didn't live no 100 years old. All the old people that lived a long time, they were all skinny and shit like this. Some, you know, regular medium size, you know, and live a long time. Nobody are uh, overweight, live no long time like that. Stop playing. Stop talking stupid. They be sick. They be having sugar, what they used to call it down south. Diabetes and everything be wrong with them. High blood pressure, everything. You know what I'm saying? One of the top jobs in the, uh, in the in the city is nursing. CNA, a nurse, LPN, in the black community. You getting paid? You want to be a nurse? You want you want to make money, young black woman? Be a nurse. Be a CNN or, or LPN. You'll have a job all the time. There's plenty of nursing homes. Nursing homes everywhere, and people in hospitals sick and dying constantly. So Fourth of July gonna come up. Black people going to be deteriorating each other's health. Here, yeah, oh, eat some more of this shit and die early, basically. Ha, <laughs> I drink it, right? On somebody else's Independence Day, y'all black ass ain't even independent. Pfft, that's a whole nother story. That, that a dependent nigga even celebrate some independent shit. But I guess, in a way, you could say, well, I'm kind of independent because when the white man beat the other white man, I was on that white man's side, so I got, you know what I mean? So I could kind of see that a little bit, if you must. But do you got to die because of that shit? You got to go kill yourself? So then I'm in Chicago. Not only that, they finna shoot everything moving. The murder rate go up. The 4th of July in Chicago is going down. If, if, if a whole lot of people don't get killed... Fourth of July weekend in Chicago, that'll make the news. Wow. A whole lot of people didn't get killed. Real shit. <laughs> I bullshit you not. You know what I'm saying? With all the fireworks and shit, 
Motherfuckers quicker to shoot because they is is disguising the shooting. You know what I'm saying? If you've been talking shit to me all year, and you've been around, I sent you a couple of times. When these fireworks go off and I catch you outside, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be Independence Day. Feel me? And so it just go off. So many fireworks and so much gunplay, you down there can't hear one from another. These cities like this, they got them, they got them, them, them things on the corner that detect where the bullets shoot at. You know that, right? So in some of these corners, they got they got the radar up there that can hit a gunshot and tell you where the gunshot go off at. They've been installed them years ago. <clears throat> when you shoot a gun, they they know where it go off at, and they on your ass too. That's why that's why they drive by. They don't drive by because they scared. They drive by because the police, uh, the police coming. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, my bad. If you's real, you'll walk up. No, you not in 2021. Shut up, old head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shut up, shut up, old head. <laughs> I hate that word, but it's funny. Shut up, old head. What do you mean? If you's real bad, you walk up and shoot him. Shut up, old head. No, no, no. You gotta skeet out. You know what I mean? You got to drive back because they got guns too. They might, they going to shoot your ass. You got to get the fuck out of there. What are you talking about? There's guns stashed everywhere in the spot. You can't just walk up and walk off shoot nobody. What? People that say that, you know, they ain't active. So you ain't active in the street. Boy, what block you can go in and walk up and shoot somebody and walk off? Yeah, okay. What, you going to shoot everybody? That's what you're going to have to do to get the fuck off that block unless you drive by. Hello. So 4th of July coming, they finna be everywhere. Then they're going to be eating all, drinking all this liquor, right? So you're going to have a lot of gang violence. You're going to have a lot of revenge killing. Then they're drinking and shit and all this crazy shit. So you're going to have a whole bunch of domestic violence. Then you're going to have a whole bunch of violence outside that ain't really gang related. They might be in gangs, but people not knowing how to act, hanging out, drinking, getting into fights, getting into shootouts, right? Too many motherfuckers hang out that don't know how to act. And it's all based around eating all that poison and drinking all that poison and smoking a bunch of tobacco and poison and shit. And that creates like a whole negative energy in the black neighborhood. And meat got a lot to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Because when you when you don't when you don't really have the knowledge to understand your colon and your digestive shit and how plants compared to a bunch of meat, if you can't see, you know, if you can't comprehend digesting flesh, chewing up flesh, digesting it down in your colon, and that you got rotten in flesh and you flesh too. So see you putting flesh on flesh. And your stomach, your colon, that's flesh. And so now, if you put vegetables in there, the vegetables going to soothe, and fruits and vegetables going to soothe your flesh. But if you put some flesh against your flesh, that flesh going to start to rot, but it's laying up against your flesh. So when that flesh moves, they're going to leave a black spot on your flesh. You know, your flesh. So you got this, this beef in there. When that shit starts turning brown in your stomach and hard, it's made almost out the same shit you made out of. So therefore, that shit laying up against your intestines and shit, that shit going to give you cancer. How could it not? It's flesh against flesh. And the old people knew it, but they really didn't know it. So my daddy was getting there, but he born in 1931. But he was getting there. It's up to me to take it where it's at now. I'm right and exact. Proof is this. One day, my, my father was cooking, and he was making some meat. And he was putting some meat tenderizer on it. And he stopped. And he said, I don't think I want to use this. He said, son, you ever thought about something? He said, they telling me to put this meat tenderizer on this meat. But when I eat it, I'm meat. Ain't this stuff going to tenderize my stomach? i never forget my father said that. That was my father back in the 70s. Figuring it out. But not to the point where I figured it out. Because he come from a different era. Just like you got the industrial age, then you got the, the space age. But well, it's the same thing. So that was my father 
old school beginning of what I'm telling y'all now, that he was figuring it out, that, hey, we made out of meat. And so, damn, why would we use meat tenderizer? So then when you don't take care of yourself like that, then you you drinking too much, too right, and all that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to listen to me because I'm one of you. So see, a lot of times when people see people like me, you try to make me a different motherfucker. No, nigga, I was you before you. I did all that. See what I'm saying? So this is a nigga that did that shit. This ain't no motherfucker. Goody too. I wasn't raised no conscious nigga. Bro. I was raised conscious. I'm raised on McDonald's and, and motherfucking White Castle, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've raised old motherfucking bologna sandwiches, motherfucking grilled cheese and shit. Oh, everything. That's what I'm, what? Nigga, I'm raised on motherfucking Nowelators and motherfucking nut chews. And, and, you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Y'all know when we was eating that shit. You know what I mean? That shit was going to kill us. You know what I mean? I was raised on bacon and eggs. Come on, man. I ate bacon and eggs. Man, you know that shit to kill you. You know what I mean? Just honestly. I ate it. That shit's some dangerous shit. You know what I mean? You can see that shit to kill you. If, even if you eat it. Eggs and bacon, man, you know that shit to kill you. Shit don't even look like it's healthy, do it. It just tastes good, so we just eat it. You know what I mean? <laughs> we be doing some crazy shit. We be eating shit. We know that shit ain't no good for us, but... It tastes good and make you full. You know what I mean? See, we trying to get full, but then you get full of cancer and full of diabetes. You know what I mean? So now, for to me, like the holiday coming up, it's like almost like a funeral for my people. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta watch my people commit suicide. I might as well go to the abortion clinic and watch the black woman kill a thousand babies a day. So I'm saying. That's what it's like. So that's why I don't go to Christmas, Thanksgiving, and shit like that. Because the reality is that's what it's really like to me. When I see them eating that shit, I feel like they're killing themselves. I know maybe, I know us against them. I feel like they're killing themselves. And I feel like all that hostility and shit like that, all of that has got a lot to do with what's going on in society. If them, if them shorties was out there and they was plant-based and shit like that, they wouldn't be out there shooting and shit like that. They... They, the way you eat, the way they raise us up to smoke cigarettes and to take pills and drugs and get drunk and shit and eat, they basically raise you up like with a suicidal mind state. And they wonder why motherfucker suicide rates so high. They basically, they basically pushing suicide if you really look at this shit. You know what I'm saying? Once you get out that shit, you'll be like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? I started smoking cigarettes in the fifth grade. Nigga can't tell me nothing. Nigga in the fifth grade, I was smoking already. You know what I'm saying? We start out with like, I think you start with Salem, then you go to Newport, then you go to Coos. It's in the fifth grade. We drink, I was drinking vodka and orange juice, fifth grade. I started smoking cigarettes in freshman in high school. I would have had cancer for sure. I was a pro smoker. And when I was a freshman, I, I was already trying to quit. You know how a grown man say he want to quit? I was like that when I was a freshman. Man, I don't smoke, quit this shit. I just smoke weed. Fuck, I'm smoking this shit. This shit don't even get me hot. And guess what? I couldn't hardly quit smoking that shit. Man, I couldn't quit smoking them cigarettes. The only way I got off cigarettes, I smoked more weed, and I started going by these nasty-ass cigars that I hated. And every time I wanted a cigarette, I'd light that nasty cigar and put it out, and that's how I quit. I never bought no more cigarettes. I realized as long as I buy them, I can't quit. You know what I'm saying? You can't stop eating meat if you're going to buy this shit. You can't stop being an alcoholic if you buy just stop buying alcohol. It's easier to stop buying it than it is to stop drinking it. Like your mind is more powerful can stop you from buying it. But your mind can't stop you from drinking it once you get it. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? And so I'm trying to get black people to really see, like, man, we on some self, straight self-destruction shit. You know, these bullets finna be flying in Chicago. We see it every year. Brothers making videos, videos up, how to survive Chicago on 4th of July. Straight up. It's finna rip out there. I'm telling you.
and then all the way through the rest of the song. But that's the highlight. You know, so many police got to work that weekend. Still ain't going to do no good. They can't be on every corner, 77 communities. So we eating bad, and that eating bad make us do everything else bad. Once you don't eat right, it's a wrap. Because that's the stronghold for the discipline to get you to think, I'm going to take care of my health. And once that kick in, and you stop eating that meat, try to st when you start trying it, stop eating it. See, young brothers and sisters, don't don't just say, stop eating it. Try to stop eating it. Those are two different things. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me show you something. Yeah, go go follow go follow vegan intel, real, real vegan intel. Then order this, the easiest way to become a vegan. Order this right here. Right? Order this. Right? The easiest way to become vegan and take these stuff. So what you want to do, you want to try. So brothers, you're like, man, I can't stop eating meat. No, no, that's too hard. Just try, which means get the manual, start cutting back. See what I'm saying? So now you ain't really stop eating it. You're trying to cut back. So what you want to do is, instead of concentrating on, I got to stop eating meat, just start concentrating on putting more vegetables on your plate. Say, so, okay, I'm going to still eat this. But I need to put more, I need more vegetables on this shit. See what I'm saying? So before you try to eliminate, increase all the healthy shit you eat, more of it to get you full and a little bit of that instead of a whole bunch of that and just barely anything to go with it. That way you try. Now the reason you want to try is because the trying is more powerful than doing it because the trying is going to make you start kicking in to care about yourself. So once you start trying and trying and trying, it builds like a, a mentality like, yeah, man, I need to care about myself. I can't, I ain't going out like this. I don't want to be sick at, sick at 45, 50 years old. I don't want to be sick. I still going to have a lot of shit I want to do. Yeah, I'm only 20, 30 now, but goddamn, that, that's going to go like that. And then, man, I still want to be popping. I don't want to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and so that's what you want to do. So you want to start trying. Once you start thinking on trying and start looking at yourself like you got to do better and don't accept it. Don't accept what you eat. Be like, this ain't good enough. I got to eat better than this, even if you eating it. And so for me, it was hard for me to get off fish, but I wanted to get off this shit. I couldn't get off, but I wanted to get off. That's how I got off. If I didn't ever take my mind like say, oh, I can't. While I wanted it, I just kept going and buying it. I was buying it and eating it, but my mind concept was like, I'm going to stop eating this shit, even though I was eating it. That's where your mind got to be. Never till like, I give up, man. I just love this, man. I'm just going to eat this anyway. Uh, good luck with your health, because you ain't got the willpower. And once you, once you get your mind like that, now that's when everything else kick in about, you know what? Now that I want to care about my health, Man, oh, I can't drink all that, man. That's a little bit too much liquor. Oh, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do that. Even when it comes to sex, if you get so you care about your health, you ain't just jumping in the bed with just anybody. See what I'm saying? You ain't just taking no drugs after you're trying to eat better. You're not finna go, you ain't gonna eat better and snort no fucking cocaine or do no heroin or nothing like that, you, you know? You ain't even want to smoke no cigarette or nothing like that. You start be, you start getting petty with what you want to deal with because now you want to live. And see, once you build that confidence to want to live and you mix that with your drive for business, now we talking. Because you can have a drive for business, but if you ain't trying to make sure you function and to live, I mean, where could your business go if you sick? So we got all this negative energy and look at the murder rate and look at the mentality of our people. All of that, the way we eat, got a lot to do with all of that. It ain't no coincidence that when they go out here and barbecue all these dead animals, that gunplay go up in Chicago and more people get killed. 
that y'all out there doing animal sacrifices to a wicked God, basically. You don't even know who you're sacrificing these animals to, and it's all based on death. You know what I'm saying? That shit dead. You know what I mean? So that's another thing when you start slowing down like real shit. Like I had got all pork and then beef and I was working to get down off this shit, right? So all I was eating was fish. This real shit. All I was eating was fish. This was back in like 78, 79. And so I'm eating a whole bunch of more fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables and shit, but I'm still eating fish. And because I was eating a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables and I wasn't eating no beef or no pork or no chicken, the fish start looking nasty on its own. It's like my vision came back. You know what I mean? My vision came back. I didn't have no vision. When my vision started coming back, I see this motherfucker's head, gills, insides, right? Like I never seen that before. So I always came up, you get a piece of chicken, you just eat it. You don't see no nigga leg, right? You don't, you don't see veins and shit. You just eat it. Veins popping, you don't see that because you be blind. But once you start cleaning out, you can see this dead shit. You know what I mean? So fish, I started looking at the fish, cutting it open. I could see shit because that's because my body was cleaning out. So I wasn't just eating like his food. They taught you his food. But but you blind and shit. You, you, your body's all morbid. But once you clean your body out, you ain't going to have to force yourself. Once you start to clean your body out, you ain't got to force your stuff to stop eating, man. Your body, you just going to be like, man, I can't fuck with that no more. That shit, look at this shit. That you come into life, you know, and you come to see. Then when you come to see, and then you go do the research and find out that all the nutrition is in the plants and shit, you'd be mad than a motherfucker. Like, you start thinking, oh, these motherfuckers kept telling me protein and shit. And gorillas and elephants big as hell. Hold on, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all keep telling me about protein. Gorillas don't eat. Wait a minute. Cows eat the beef, get the protein from the beef, but the cow don't eat beef. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Where's the cow get protein from? You know, so then you start feeling used and tripped, tricked. You know what I'm saying? And it's all... That's why you got to go see the documentary they're trying to kill us. Like, they make money off of you being addicted to the food, the drugs, the cigarettes, the meat and shit, artificial flavor, artificial color, preservatives, artificial sweetness. They make money off of that, off of you being addicted to buy it. Then they make the money off of you not feeling good to sell you pills and shit and, and Pepto-Bismol and shit like that so you can still eat it to maintain then they make money again when it actually start to take you out and you got to go to the medical department for surgery and all that shit. They hit you three times like, pow, you addicted, you buying it. Then, boom, you don't feel good. They're like, get some Tums, get some Pepto-Bismol. Am I lying? Like, soon as we go eat and shit, when you're a regular nigga, like I used to be a regular nigga, eating regular nigga shit, every time regular nigga day come, them motherfuckers be like, Tums, Pepto, Bismol, K.O. Pectech, they be selling all this shit, telling you, upset stomach, eat this shit. And you don't be paying no attention to it, right? And then so it be showing motherfuckers sitting around, stomach upset, then that motherfucker take some pills, then he be smiling with the kids again. It's like, shit be like deep as hell. Right? I'm like, whoa, right? But they know you finna eat all that garbage and your stomach gonna be upset. So now they, they, they get you to buy all the garbage. They're like, boom, Thanksgiving come. Make sure you have a big Thanksgiving dinner. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to do a commercial right now for the 4th of July. What up, though? What's up, black America? You know 4th of July coming up, right? And you know we done bought all this shit. You know we done ordered a whole bunch of extra rug and shit, a whole bunch of liquor and shit. Y'all know that, right? Hey, y'all better get y'all goofy ass out there and celebrate the motherfucking 4th of July and buy this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't bring all this shit in here for nothing. Now, we know the weather say it might rain. It ain't gonna rain, right? It ain't gonna rain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> That's what would be really sad. Like if it looked like it's going to rain, they're like, well, it might be a small chance of rain, but it could just pass right over and go, go buy this shit. Don't worry about rain. Now, if you buy a bunch of shit, then we'll tell you if it's going to rain after you spent your money. So they get you to spend all this money, eat all this shit. Then they sell you all this shit because you're sick. Hangover. You need some Advil. You need some Tylenol. You need some pepto bismol You need some Tums. So now they sell you the medicine. And then the ones that really get fucked up, they're like, listen, we could do a bi gastro bypass. We could do chemo. We could do radiation. Okay, you could come. We take the deal with. You can get, you know, dialysis. And we can amputate. You know, we can amputate. So it's dialysis centers all over the black America. And black America still eating a certain way. But ain't nothing verified that they're eating correct. Because go to your phone when you get off of here and go to Google Maps and say dialysis center. And then go and scroll up and see how many dialysis centers you're going to see within a 50 mile radius. Right? See how many dialysis centers close to you within a 50 mile radius. How many people's walking in and out of there on dialysis, people getting their legs cut off. They, you know, black people, number one in America with uh, low extremity amputations and shit. Now, ain't no news people gonna cover that but me. Yeah, follow me too. This the news, right? I'm gonna cover this shit because I don't like the news, so I'm finna be the news. So follow me on Instagram. This the news, right? At this the news, right? And it's gonna be the news. No bullshit. Just straight motherfucking from the hood, nigga telling the news. So follow me on this the news. Shit finna be ugly. Follow it on YouTube too. Shit finna be crazy. This the news. I got if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. They ain't telling y'all shit, right? So Fourth of July coming up, black people gonna be eating this shit, getting sicker. The violence gonna go up. A whole bunch of unwanted pregnancies, which means which means a whole bunch of fucking abortions. There's gonna be a whole bunch of unnecessary sex. So be a whole bunch of black women gonna be taking day after pills that we don't know the results the day after the day after the day after. See, cause you took the day after, but what about a thousand, two thousand days after? What's gonna be the results of all these women taking their pill? See what I'm saying? What, cause you know, women, black women, stop letting men sell you shit like that. I can't believe you sisters. Why y'all kept letting men tell y'all to get abortion? Men selling y'all birth control. Why? I wouldn't do it. Let's say you want to have sex with me tomorrow. And you told me today I got to take the day before pill. Bitch, you crazy. <laughs> The day before pill, I ain't taking no day before pill. Ain't you out your fucking bed and fuck my dick up so my dick don't work the tomorrow, the day after? No, no, I'm not doing no birth control. You do the birth control, sweetie, and fuck up your organs. Basically, that's what men is telling women. Sweetie, you do the birth control. You do the abortion and suck babies out of you and fuck your life up. We just gonna keep fucking with our shit. You know what I'm saying? Now some brothers go get they, some people go get they shit clipped, but you don't never know what that's about because these motherfuckers nowadays be LGBT and Q plus, right? I'm just trying to tell y'all that these holidays coming up, 4th of July coming up, nothing but murder and mayhem. They're gonna eat a bunch of meat. They're gonna have a lot of more medical problems from it. And then it's gonna be a whole bunch of violence. Murder. That's all we be doing. That eating all that violent flesh, and then drinking that fire water. So I'm saying. Cause see, you gotta understand, liquor is a medicine. But they'll take liquor and put all kind of chemicals in it. But you can make liquor plant based. But each type of plant based liquor got a different effect. It's a medicine. Just like you got indica and sativa. You got one that you smoke when you can't sleep. You got another one to smoke when you sleep too much. That's how that liquor is. 
and serve liquor ain't for out with a whole bunch of action because certain liquors that rah rah Cisco by certain liquor fighting shit. That's liquor make you fight shit. I mean, I was young, we used to have that wild Irish rose. Where them real niggas at? You know what I'm saying? Where the niggas grew up, know about a brick of Ricky. Call it a brick because it was in a glass ball like a brick. A brick of Ricky, nigga. What you know about that? Well, the, the Ricky make you fight. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so when my parents, they didn't want me to be in a gang, so they sent me to Lutheran school. I ended up going to Lutheran South where Common went. And when we would go and play like some of the racist white schools, before we would get to the game, we would go get a brick of Ricky, drink that shit before we go in there. So we'd be on team when we go in there if motherfuckers want to, you know what I'm saying? If they want to get on some KKK, you know what I'm saying? We down, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get on that BBB. And it's just going to be what it is. So we'll drink that brick of Ricky. We'd go in that bitch like Tupac when he walked out of court spitting on motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and serve, serve liquor for fight liquor. I'm telling you. Yeah, certain liquor fight, you know what I mean? Like Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? Hennessy, come on, man. Hennessy and ops and outside and ladies and booties and all that. See what I'm saying? Because the ladies get out there fighting too and then the men get into it. You know what I'm saying? It, it starts all kind of different ways with all this testosterone, all this estrogen, drunk, eating bad, violence. This is what the young people are doing, and the old ones commend suicide. So the young ones is commend the young black people on 4th of July, get drunk, get mad in the hoods, go out and commit genocide. Why the older people say that's a shame they commit gen uh, genocide. Why the older people commit suicide. So the older black people on the 4th of July, they're going to be committing su uh, suicide in Chicago. And the young black, a lot of the young black brothers in Chicago, they're going to be out trying to commit genocide. The older person to tell y'all, y'all should stop killing people out there is killing they self and they see because once you mess your body up like that, the next generation gets sick earlier. So if you get fucked up or something at 80, then your, your seeds get fucked up when they get 60. And then that next seed start getting fucked up at like 50 and 40. They did research. It's, it's, it's children being born now with cancer cells already. My mother died before my grandmother. How my mother died before her mother? Because my mother went from cornbread to shake and bake chicken and all these chicken places and all these white castles and shit and all that motherfucking shit in her panties and putting all type of mass and gale and baby Johnson baby powder and putting all these people chemicals all over your body because you don't know. You just know it's powder. You from the South. We ain't, with, ain't nobody, no scientists and shit in the whole America. Americans didn't know what was in that shit. They were just common people, white ones and the black ones. Thought this motherfucker selling you power. You sprinkling powder under your arms and shit. You don't even know this shit got aluminum and nickel and shit in it going into your glands. They were just selling you all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's a mess, man. Black people got to turn it around, man. We got to get back to be the natural people. We can't, we can't keep... We can't keep doing what somebody taught us if we look at our situation. If you look at your situation, somebody taught you a certain kind of way, it's time to read writing that shit and do that shit a whole nother way. They taught us to eat wrong. We was taught a lot of shit wrong. The main thing we was taught wrong is how to eat. We was taught wrong. We was taught from people that come from second class citizens anyway. So what did they know? The people they was following didn't know no better and had a bad way they ate from the beginning. The European typically ate worse than everybody. So if you're letting this be the uh, this particular group of people that's teaching you how to eat, imagine how you're going to eat. They lived in a cold climate and had to live or eat a certain type of way in certain situations, so they say. I don't believe that either. It was all by choice. And once you develop this bad habit to eat a certain type of way and you start spreading that to the world, then the world just do it. You don't know no better. But now it's 2021. We come into a new era where we we can do the research. We know better. Now you can read the China study and see 
The dude went to China and found out dairy and meat definitely give you cancer. Ain't no if ands, buts, buts about it. The statistics are there. Go read the China study. These are facts. This is people have done the science already. They're basically feeding you poison and you feeding that shit to your children. Your babies don't even like that shit. Little kids don't like no fucking hamburger. The first time your baby get old enough to go get hamburgers and fries and shit, your baby try to drink the soda or the drink and try to eat the fries. That baby don't never want that fucking hamburger. It might even pick up the bread and bite it. But that baby don't want that fucking hamburger. And then you be saying, eat your hamburger, Bobby. Bobby, eat your burger. Babies, I'm telling you, or he won't eat it. Kids don't eat that shit. We teach them to eat it. We teach them this is what you're supposed to eat. You know what I'm saying? We teach them this is what you're supposed to eat. And so it's just a mess. When these holidays come, I just shake my head. You know, and every holiday just lead us to the next one. Boom, you do that. You do Memorial Day. You do Labor Day. You do your Labor Day. And boom, did you go right into Thanksgiving, Christmas. And it just be poison on top of poison. I remember that shit. I remember like Christmas and Thanksgiving was like where you overdo it. All you be talking about is how much you're going to eat. It's like a gluttony day. You know what I mean? I remember that shit. You be bragging, man, I'm going to try to eat. You know, you try to eat more than ever, right? I don't know what that's about. That's like some crazy shit. And so every time Thanksgiving and Christmas, the whole thing is how much you could eat. When I go out here and they get winter time and that time come, and people gonna say to me, So you have a good Thanksgiving, what you gonna do this Thanksgiving? Or well, Thanksgiving over, people be asking me, So how'd you eat? That's what they be asking me after Thanksgiving. That be it be like how much shit you eat? Did they cook a bunch of stuff that you like a bunch of it? And you just eat to you, you know what I'm saying? And I remember how, how my hunger would increase after Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Once I would eat at Thanksgiving and my stomach would get stretched, all for like two or three weeks I'd be starving. More than usual, because I had to stretch my stomach. And now, you know what I'm saying? And that's how you could get fat. Because now if you want to keep that going, boom, you're going to be fat as hell. You know what I mean? It's a mess, man. We so messed up and shit. It don't even make no sense, you know what I mean? We messed up, I'm telling you, man. Uh, with our health and shit like that, we like way out of whack because we've been raised a certain way for so long since we've been in this country. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of cases, people will tell you that, oh, I'm a Hebrew, I'm a Moor, I'm Kemetic, I'm Christian, I'm that. But if you look at the way we eat as a whole, blacks, you can see, I don't know what you say, but the same motherfucker raised all of us because we all eat the same shit. So if you're different, why you eat like everybody else? <laughs> you eat the same shit everybody else eat. It seems like you would eat different if you was different. But no, you eat the same shit. We get the same results. The biggest killer be the poison. Like the poison and shit we eat is killing us more than anything. Abortion. Abortion killing us the most a thousand babies a day. And then the shit we eat. The shit we put into our bodies, wipe them motherfuckers out. And you ain't gonna put the right thing in your body if you don't eat right. So if you don't eat right, yeah, you're gonna take lean, yeah, you're gonna take promethazine, yeah, you're gonna take pills. Because you don't have the concept to take care of your body. You half ass. When you go to the doctor, he can give you any type of prescription you're gonna take. You don't even ask what's the side effects. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's something, man. We struggling to try to change this whole scenario. You know, we got to get black people off of this violence, this black-on-black -black violence, and off of eating all these dead animals. These dead, dead animals, this ain't going to get it. This going to have to be law. You know, it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be, like I said, I'm going to throw a lot of conventions. And I'm going to throw a big economical convention, but I'm going to throw, uh, I'm gonna have to throw a convention on how to eat, too. Cause we just got to get anybody in there and get this motherfucking shit straight once and for all. What is black people supposed to eat? You know what I'm saying? 
Anybody want to come argue on behalf of me? This shit come get, come get destroyed because we we nothing scientifically show we supposed to eat that. We ain't even built to eat that. Our teeth ain't like that. We don't run fast enough to catch none of that shit, and we ain't we ain't built like hunters. We built like gatherers. We ain't built like no fucking hunters. We can't hunt like that. That's why we had to make shit to hunt. A lion don't need no fucking bow and arrow or none of that goofy ass shit. You know, they stomach is, they stomach, they could dissolve bone and hair and shit in their stomach. We can't. So once we got to this system where the Babylon prepared all the dead flesh for us, it's making us think we supposed to eat it because somebody else preparing it. Somebody else catching it and skinning it and taking the bones out, getting all the blood out and preparing it for you so you don't really have to look at what you really eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, them perks messing them up, man. They on them perks, man. Man, they on them perks so heavy that it's just crazy. They on them pills crazy, like crazy. They on a lot of pills, man. I can't even name all the pills they be asking for. My boy be telling me that shit. I can't even remember what he be talking about. You know what I'm saying? They be they on that many pills, man. Heavy, and they got to have them. They got all kind of names for all the shit they taking out in the street. I mean, it's just like, it's just a disaster, man. In the black community, it's just, everywhere you look, it's just murder and mayhem. And medical problems, I mean, everywhere you look. You know, we having medical problems on our own, and then we getting shot going to the hospital, stabbing each other, all type of shit. Like all self-inflicted when you think about a race. Either you killing yourself or another black person killing you. Just like, wow. You know what I mean? If you decent, ain't nowhere to go. Everybody's on gangbanging and stupid whole shit and wild sex or dead flesh. Ain't no other place. Black people don't have nothing of no type of positive standard, period, in America, in the world. Anything you want to do to enjoy yourself with black people, it's got to have a certain amount of decadence to it. Facts. Straight like that. Like, motherfuckers, am I, if somebody invite me to go to some dinner or something, it's, all, it's a dead flesh dinner. It ain't really nothing positive at that damn dinner. It's niggas sitting there eating trash, eating dead animals. They don't even look at it like that. They really think... They dress up and they go and they really think this is what they say it is. But in reality, they eating this shit into their system. That's the main issue of the event. That's it. That's the, and, and from that right there, their minds is only going to be a certain way. They limited. I don't care how much money they make. They can make all the money in the world. It would be limited what, how they could benefit because they can't, they can't, they can't see. They trapped. Shit like shit like being in a closet or some shit. When you stop eating that shit, after a while, you be like, damn. You know what I mean? Straight up. Especially when you realize how hard it was to get off that shit, and you realize you don't really need that shit either. Oh, man. You know what I mean? I mean, motherfucker, you act like you're gonna die if you don't eat meat. I ain't ate that shit since 79. Motherfucker, you're gonna die. If, if, you know what I'm saying? Talking stupid shit. Like, what? Nigga would have been dead. You know? <laughs> what the hell going on? Not only am I not dead, I'm a little more active at 63 than the rest, a lot of the 63 year old. They ain't really active like that. Not like that. Not really. They don't feel good and shit. You know what I mean? They act old and shit. They all ought to be old as hell. They really do. It's naturally, it's going to be certain things about you age. Just living so long make you act a certain kind of way. But the way they function physically and mentally, it'd be depressing. You know what I'm saying? I get around a lot of older black people. I got to walk on the outside because I got to go where I got to go. They be walking like, uh, uh. Ooh, and I got to go, so I got, you know what I mean? I got to go walk out the outside to get past. You know, you put me with some senior citizens, 
I'm only 62, I'm 65, you put me in senior citizens, I'd be fucking, I'd be like a fish out of fucking water. You know what I'm saying? For me, the way I look at it, see, a lot of people don't understand. To me, it's like you put me with a whole bunch of old motherfuckers, right? Like, these motherfuckers are old for real. You know what I'm saying? It's one kind of old where they try to go by your age, but it's another kind of old where your ass is old. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's how I would feel around it. Like, oh, shit, I wouldn't be comfortable. You know what I mean? Because I'd just be like, and they ain't took care of themselves. You could see it. They'd be fucked up. Come on, motherfucker lived at 80 years old. I think that motherfucker, he fucked up, though. Motherfucker like this. You talking about, my granddaddy ate meat. He lived to be 80. Man, I seen your granddaddy. See what I'm saying? Get the fuck stopped, man. These old people, man, they don't have no quality of life. They be like zombies. Boy, they be like zombies. By the time they get 70, they be like, sometimes 65, they be like zombies. You know what I'm saying? They be like zombies, I'm telling you. A lot of our elderly people are like zombies. They walk real slow, and they different. I'm telling you, it's like, it's like, whoa. You can see them, white ones and everything. You can see them, it's like, what the hell happened to them? You know what I mean? A lot of them in wheelchairs. It's like a lot of them motherfuckers in wheelchairs. A lot of them. And wheelchairs, and a lot of them is like can barely take care of themselves. They gotta go to these old people buildings and shit, and they be having the staff there to take to look out for them. They still live on their own apartments and shit. But they got a staff. You know what I mean? Shit, weird as hell. They be slow. They be strange as hell. It be strange. You know what I mean? It'd be trying to be like being on another planet. You know what I mean? And you can tell where the medical people is just barely keeping them going. It's like they juicing them to get money out of them. Like, look like somebody keeping them alive for a check. You know, it's weird as hell. I ain't gonna tell no lie, man. Shit crazy. And they be sick all the time. Like, all the time. Like with my father, when I take care of my father and mother, I'm on the block with all the older relatives in the neighborhood with a bunch of older black people. Ambulances and fire trucks on the block regularly. Get Mr. So-and-so, get Mr. So-and-so. They be sick as hell. They be in and out of the hospital a lot. I'm talking about a lot. They be basically almost like life support, like back and forth to the hospital, back home. Oh, mama feel a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, like black people be any, these fire trucks be coming, they be putting black people on stretches a lot. Older black people be just barely making it. They body be totally tore up. They got all kind of crutches and sticks and shit and all type of stuff to it to function. It's like strange. You know what I'm saying? And they don't be wanting to live no more. It'd be weird as hell. Like I talked to this older white dude, he didn't want to live. I said something like, oh, you know, he told me his age. I said, oh man, well, you'll live another 10 years. He said, I don't want to. I said, well, <laughs> that's what he said. He said, I don't want to. I said, well, don't stand next to me, motherfucker. Nigga, I'm fine. I want to live forever, bitch, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, I want to wake up. I want to be surprised. Hold on. I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? A nigga, a real nigga, I got to be surprised. You know, I'm dead. I got to be like, what the fuck going on? Oh, I'm dead, for real? You know what I'm saying? Not no, oh, I know I'm going to die. I smoke cigarettes. Hey, you know, shout out to my man Ando the Don. The young brother rap with me. Perfect example. Ando, that's he like almost like a son to me. I had him rapping since he was 16. I talked to him the other day. He blind in one eye. His liver gone. He like prayed for him. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. When I was like 40, what was he, 15? So how old is he now? See what I'm saying? 
shit fucked up, you know what I mean? He young as hell, and he dying. Because he drank a lot and didn't eat right. 